Also, new details in our breaking news coverage concerning an assistant Charleston fire chief arrested after he refused to stop when police tried to pull him over. Police were responding to a call for an erratic driver. Our right team confirmed today a judge dismissed Christopher Van Hoy's case. So we want to go now to News 2 investigator Rebecca Collette, who's been tracking this story. And how has the audio from Van Hoy's day in court? Rebecca? Brendan, good evening. At that preliminary hearing, the chief magistrate heard testimony from the Hanahan police officer who arrested Van Hoy, as well as lawyers. The officer says Van Hoy had plenty of places to pull over. Van Hoy's defense team says he was worried about flooded shoulders and pulled over once he got close to his home. Here's the background in this story. The Hanahan police officer arrested Van Hoy for failure to stop for blue lights, even though the officer admits he had enough evidence to charge him with DUI. The passenger and the car with him admitted the pair were at a wedding drinking. It took Van Hoy about a minute to pull over as he drove through his neighborhood. The officer had on his siren, his lights, and was even giving a verbal command over the PA system in the car. In court audio that you will only hear on News 2, Van Hoy's lawyer convinces the judge to drop the charge. He wasn't speeding. He had his tail light on, or his, his turn signal on. He fully complied, and is 0.2 miles from where the blue light came on. I mean, this is a very serious charge, three years. It's an extremely serious case. This guy's life and his career is in jeopardy. I just think the proper move for this court is to dismiss this case. I spoke with a defense lawyer related to the case, and he tells me the charge is odd for the situation because it's generally reserved for cases that endanger the public. As for charging Van Hoy with DUI, well, it's impossible to do that now because there's no evidence. The solicitor's office says they could override the judge's dismissal and bring state charges. No word on if or when they'll make that decision. Today, I have confirmed Van Hoy is still employed at the Charleston Fire Department. Rebecca Collette, News 2.